Hey, my community, Jeff here with a couple, couple local pickups recently. Yeah, these are actually, um, yeah, some good stuff. I went to my local store that I go to all the time, and as soon as I walked in, she saw me. What the girl that works there? She's like, Jeff, did you know about the sale? This was Labor Day weekend. I said, No, I did not know about the sale. Tell me what you got going on. And she said, Buy two used albums, get a third one free. I'm like, okay, then I guess I'll be on the lookout for what they've got used. And I can always find stuff used there um, for decent prices. And I knew, I actually went there, we were down in that area, and I said, let's stop in there, because I wanted to pick up a couple used items that I saw when I was in there back when I spent money there for my birthday. My gift cards that I passed up. And these were just simple things. They were just, it was a Sticks album. Um, and like a Ted Nugent album that they had that I'm like, you know, they were like under 10 bucks. So I thought I'd just go in there and swing in and get that. But it had been bleh, maybe two weeks since I went there. So I went in there and started flipping through the used stuff as usual, as I usually do. And I'd have run over some stuff that I'm like, well, that's interesting. They had, somebody obviously had dumped some 80s stuff there. Now, most of the stuff was stuff I had. I'm seeing, you know, Keel and 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 it's standard stuff. Quiet Riot, nothing that I didn't have except for until I hit the things that I did, you know, end up picking up. And then I went back because they post a video a couple times a week showing stuff that they got in. I apparently missed these videos. I had to change my Facebook settings to where they are primary. Because they were shorts that they did, or, you know, just reels that they did flipping through the new stuff. And I guess nothing, I, I didn't see anything in any of the videos that I was would have been crazy after. But they, somebody dumped a lot of Kiss stuff there, um, including the picture, Dynasty. They had a picture of her holding the poster up with the poster. They had a bunch of Kiss stuff. So somebody dumped some 80s stuff. Quiet Riot. Uh, maybe there was a twist. There's nothing I didn't have except these. They had Malmsteen's Rising Force, the first album by Malmsteen. I bought this album when it came out. We knew him from Steeler. We heard about the album. I fell in love with it. It's 90%, 95% instrumental. And it's not shred fest like he became, you know, on, on everything else. It's it's very it's melodic and and it does have some, you know, just shredding, but not super fast. It's it's a very cool. And we have Jeff Scott Soto on vocals on the one or two, one or one song, two one song, one song with vocals. Who at the time when this came out and when it was eighty four, I think uh, 80, 83, 84. Anyway, we didn't know who he was at that time. At least I didn't. Eighty four, yeah. So anyway, I fell in love with this album back in the day. I've been looking for it on vinyl for a while. And every time I find, I never find it in the wild. And when I look at it online, you know, it's 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 not cheap. And I'll admit, it was not cheap there. But I looked it up online, and it was it was as cheap as I could find, like on Discogs. So we're talking in the twenty dollar range. Range. So now, the thought is, you buy two, you get one free. The free one's going to be the cheapest. So you don't want to get something that's like you know, an eight dollar album when you got to spend twenty bucks on this. So. My goal now is to find something compatible in this price range. Lo and behold, they have Malmsteen's Trilogy. So, um, this now, I believe I now have like the first three Malmsteen's plus one for a little, that's a little later. So, you know, picking up a little here. Um, this one had a little question to me because the, that one looks like new. But this one, the vinyl itself almost looked like it had some marks on it, like possible scratch there's like two or three possible scratches looked a little dirtier at times so i said hey can i pop this on your player and she said sure and so i plopped it on and i'm listening and i'm like i don't hear anything so it was just superficial marks i got home pulled out my self-cleaning kit cleaned it up real good the marks are very barely visible but they're not they, you don't feel them and then i played the entire album and, and there's no it doesn't add pops cracks or anything so it sounds beautiful and these are again you know og pressings i'm not even sure if they were ever reissued but 
So yes, yeah, super thrilled to have that. So now I'm like, okay, great. Now I've got two albums in the same price range. I need to find a third one. Um, and like I said, there were quite a few albums there that I could pick up, but they were all in the under $10 realm. And so, um, and then I ran across this, which is kind of baffling. A, I didn't know it was out on vinyl, and B, it just came out on vinyl. So Jukebox, Jukebox Saloon by Molly Hatchet. This is a deadline, a recent deadline issue, um, 2024. It's on beautiful orange. Now, if you're not familiar with this album, I've had this album for on CD for over 10 years, I assume. I think it was over 10 years old. It's the current lineup of Molly Hatchet doing cover tunes. And I bought it. It's called, when I bought it, the CD is called Southern Heroes. Then, then and, and it was, I think it was also on deadline back then because I think most of their stuff was. Had it for years, same songs, and then I didn't know it's coming. Didn't know it was out on vinyl. Never saw it noticed, and somebody bought it and obviously didn't like it. <laughs> so I mean, they turned right around within months. Sharp dressed man. The boys are back in town. Bad to the bone. Wild horses, uh, and then they do a cover tune by some flirting with disasters like Molly Hatchet covers Molly Hatchet. Anyway, Mississippi Queen by Mountain Freebird with Charlie Daniels working with them. And then back in the USSR. So it's a fun album. Anyway, it was under 20, but it was still on the higher end. It wasn't a $7.99 album or an $8.99 album. So I thought, okay, I feel more comfortable getting three albums that are, this was free. So anyway, that was cool. I didn't, like I say, didn't know it was out on vinyl. I have had it on CD for years. Thought it was fun. So anyway, I grabbed it. And there you go. I should have went back and got some of the you know nine dollar ones or i should have picked a couple of the cheaper albums and put them together and then handed my wife and made her pay they probably would have gave me three i i, I didn't we were zipping in there i grabbed these i should have got some other things because you know buy two get one free is a good deal any day of the week anyway i did not make it back in but at least i got three things that i thought were very nice scores and very great condition og copies and that was it for this one thanks for watching i'll see you later rock on rock hard